back to my channel. Today we are reviewing a cast iron teapot that was sent to me for review. This is by Top Tier. That's what the package looks like. And let's go ahead and get into it. So I have not opened this yet, so let's see what it looks like. And on top of my coffee addiction, I do have a tea addiction, in all honesty. I, I do both. I, I know, it's a serious issue. I don't really drink soda. I might, at most, drink soda twice a month. Yes, that's truthfully it. I'm not a big soda drinker. It is normally tea, and it is normally coffee. That's it. Sometimes juice. That's pretty much it. Anyways, this is the top of the lid here. Got the little hole there. This this is this is pretty heavy, so yeah, it's it's definitely cast iron. Um, let's see, let's pull this out. This is what the pot looks like. This is the tea thing. You know what? I don't have any loose tea right now. I'm gonna have to buy some loose tea before I can finish reviewing this for you guys. But anyways, let's put this together. I can get this in here. I'm not really sure how to get this handle on. Okay. Once I figure out how to get this handle on, and I get some loose tea, I, which I definitely will be doing, I will be back with this. Um, but this is what it looks like, so you know, eventually this handle will be on here. I might have to get my husband to help me get it on there, because I clearly don't know what I'm doing. Um, but this is what it looks like. It is very heavy. It is very pretty. I mean, look at that. I mean, I just want to leave this on my stove top, just because it's so pretty. Look at that. Anyways, inside, tea, whatever. That is super cute. I am going to figure out how to get the handle on there, get me some loose tea, so it might be a day or two before I come back, and I am going to try it out a few times and tell you what I think. I mean, you know, it is a tea kettle, so I'm sure it's going to do its job, but I'm still interested to see how well it holds up to my other tea kettles, and yeah. Okay, so... I did finally pick myself up some loose tea. I'm gonna put some images of me actually making the tea, not that this is super exciting for that or anything like that, but just to show you that I did actually use it before coming back and talking to you about it. Um, but before I talk about it in that regard, I did pull up online some information about it because I was thinking to myself, you know, what is so special about a cast iron teapot because, you know, for me, a teapot's a teapot. Um, even though I love tea, I don't really know that there was much of a difference. So I did pull it up, and apparently the tea, the cast iron teapot is um, something that is a Japanese thing. Um, they're designed so heat is evenly distributed throughout the pot. This means the flavor is extracted from the tea better. I'm, I'm reading from a website. It is the exotic teapot. Um, when you use them as a kettle, the water boiled has an elegant, crisp, smooth, and sweet taste with none of the plastic kettle lime scale taste, bring, helping bring out the real flavor of tea. Um, and, you know, I did try it. I can honestly say that is true. I really did like it. It did keep the tea inside of it warm longer. I would say, I don't know, at least a solid hour longer. Um, I really enjoyed it. I do think, like, if you are an avid tea drinker, you like your hot teas, I do think this is something worth investing in. It, it, it is a little different. It does take a little bit longer to heat up. Um, but the flavor is definitely worth it. Um, just a reminder though, if you're not used to cast iron, cast iron generally you do not use actual soap with to clean. Um, but this is coated, like I don't know if you can see it, it is coated. So if you do wash it, it's not going to damage it. 
but generally with cast iron you do not use soap because it damages it. You know, if you live in, in the south like I do, you know that. But anyways, this is definitely a good product. I definitely do recommend it and, you know, y'all like some hot tea, so here's some hot tea for you.